gone. When I came home, they were gone. The government had taken my parents because they viewed them as dangerous nonconformists. I hated the official who did it. I had to take action. My siblings, Stephen and Julia, agreed. We needed to make them pay. We had learned a lot about sleuthing from our parents. They were spies after all. And so we joined together to take revenge on the brutal communist regime. After making an underground hideout to base our operations, we defaced, stole, and destroyed. Then one night, during a break-in on the administration center, Planning a raid on the Moore's house. Looks like Hannah, their 16 year old daughter, is a religious non compliant. Kind of reminds me of mom and dad, except they were political, but. We could foil their plans. Yeah, taste their own medicine. I'm in. It's 426 Broadway Street at 9 30 on Friday night. Wait, that's tonight. Guys, we've got 30 minutes. After you. Open up! Ma'am, you have suspected of non-compliance. You need to come with us. Come here. Uh, uh. Where are you guys? We just heard you need some help. Guys, we need to go. Let's split up and meet at the base. Here's a map. Don't let him find it. I'll shoot. Don't worry about me. God is with me. Get in. Get on the ground. Just get away. I'm not afraid. You want to follow them, sir? No, there's not enough of us. Come on, we need to go pronto. You have to see what you drop. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. That was a... I don't want to talk about it. To the person who finds this, the stash is located under the front porch in a black crate. Please continue the work. People need this message. You may pay dearly, but the truth must be known. What work? What could the stash be? Well, we know that she was arrested for religious noncompliance. So she was a Christian. Ah, so the stash must be the copies of their holy book. Bibles. They're distributing Bibles. That book must be pretty important to them, considering she's... Con yes, Richard. We know. I wonder what type of book would make someone to be so willing to risk death. She must have really believed it. Well, we have a way to find out.
really. If you guys were reading when I fell asleep. This is a really good book. Now I think I know why Hannah wasn't afraid to face death. It says right here, whosoever will lose his life for my sake will find it. I think Jesus is saying that you don't have to be afraid to face death if you're one of his followers. Like Hannah. And this part says that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. He came to die for the sins of mankind. Why would he do that? Well, because we all have sinned and broken God's law. So Jesus Christ came to pay the fine for our sin by dying on the cross. And then he came back to life, defeating death. So Christians don't have to be afraid of dying. Rose from the dead? Is anyone actually going to believe that? Hannah? And so do I. So do I. I also believe this whole revenge business is wrong. Jesus says to love your enemies just like he forgave those who crucified him. So we've decided to use our sleuthing skills to smuggle these Bibles to people who need them. You have got to be kidding me. According to this sheet, our next delivery is tonight. Are you coming or not? That was how it started. After that, we secretly distributed the Bibles for nine months. When we were arrested, Stephen renounced the faith and was set free. He never learned the importance of the book. Now the work has been stopped. To the person who finds this, the stash is located behind the fort wall. Please, continue the work. You may pay dearly, but the truth must be known. It has the power to transform your life.